Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to connect crystal oscillator. So first let's see the circuit diagram. We need a cylinder 47 kilo ohm, 8.2 kilo ohm, RC S2.2 kilo ohm, RE 560 ohms, CE 47 microfarad, coupling capacitor C1 C2 as 0.47 microfarad. And for tank circuit we need two 22 picofarad capacitors and one 2 megahertz crystal instead of 2 megahertz we can even use 3 megahertz or whatever the crystal which is available in your laboratory now i will show you how to connect this crystal oscillator circuit here i am using a npn transistor as we all know a transistor has three terminals base collector and emitter here we have a notch So the terminal which is near to notch is emitter and if I move in clockwise direction the second one is base and the last one is collector. So emitter base collector. For easier identification what we have done here emitter is yellow color, base blue color and the collector is in red color. So first I will take only the base terminal. So in my left hand I am holding the base so I am fixing base here and this is collector collector i am connecting to the upper side and the base sorry emitter i am connecting to the down side so i repeat this one is base collector and yellow is emitter now coming back to the diagram now i have to connect r1 47 kilo ohm so i have taken a 47 kilo ohm resistor so this one should be connected to base terminal so one end of the 47 kilo ohm is connected to base and the other end is connected to 12 volt VCC. So now I am connecting to the common point on the later stage I will be giving 12 volts to this common point. So next I will be taking 8.2 kilo ohms. So I have taken 8.2 kilo ohms. One end of 8.2 kilo ohm is connected to base, another end is connected to ground. So R1 and R2. Now I will be connecting RC that is 2.2 kilo ohm. So one end of 2.2 kilo ohm is connected to collector. So I have taken that is 2.2 kilo ohm. So one end is connected to collector another is connected to common point where I will be connecting plus VCC in the later stage and the last resistor I will be taking here that is 560 ohm one end of the 560 ohm is connected to emitter another end is connected to ground now we are using a RPS regulated power supply so plus VCC is connected at the top end so if I connect it in the top end that means all these points will be getting the common supply that is 12 volts similarly the negative is connected to downside that means all these lines will be getting ground in common now I will be connecting this CE that is 47 microfarad I have taken 47 microfarad here it has two LEDs one is lengthier one other one is shorter one the lengthier one is positive, short one is negative. So the positive one is connected to emitter terminal and the shorter one which is negative is connected to ground. Now I need to connect two more capacitors that is C1 and C2. C1 is connected to base terminal and other terminal is connected to empty side and similarly C2 is connected to collector terminal as shown in, in this diagram now once all these things are over I am coming back to circuit diagram so this one is a tank circuit here we need two 22 picofarads and one 2 megahertz crystal so in between two 22 picofarads we need to connect one ground now I am taking now I will be showing you how to connect this one. 
so i have taken 222 picofarads so this is 22 picofarad capacitor so i have connected 22 picofarad one capacitor and the other one i have connected here so 222 picofarads and where 222 picofarads are combining i am connecting it to the ground so this one is grounded now one end of the 22 picofarad it should be connected to 0.47 and similarly this another end should be connected as a feedback to c1 now i will be using those two connections now this one is c1 and this one is one side of 22 picofarad now i will be taking another connecting wire now this one i am connecting to one end is connected to c1 i have connected to c1 and this one connected to another 22 picofarad now i am taking a 2 megahertz crystal now there we can clearly see there is mentioned 2 megahertz so instead of 2 megahertz you can also use 3 megahertz 3.5 whichever is available in your laboratory now this 2 megahertz crystal is connected between 2 222 picofarads so one point of 22 picofarad another point of 22 picofarad so between those two i am connecting connected this particular crystal oscillator now probe so as we all know the positive terminal is red color negative is black so output we are taking from c2 and the other terminal is connected to ground terminal so we have used okay we are using channel 1 instead of channel 1 we can also use channel 2 in cro now i am switching on i am switching on power supply now we will check the output so now we will see the CRO so we are getting a clear sinusoidal wave so if you want to remove the ripples then instead of 8.2 kilo ohm as R2 I can use a pod and I can remove this noise I can smoothen this particular sinusoidal wave now let's find out what's the frequency now here we can clearly see now i'll just take it as a reference so we can clearly see starting from this point 180 degree then i'll be moving here this is 360 degree one complete cycle so one complete cycle is taking one box so that one i have to multiply with time base so time base here it is 0.5 microseconds so we are moving at the last this black line so 1 into 0.5 microseconds so the time is 0.5 microseconds now if i inverse that one 1 divided by 0.5 microseconds frequency will be 2 megahertz so 1 divided by 0.5 microsecond is 2 megahertz the crystal what we have used is also 2 megahertz so both theoretically and practically this crystal oscillator experiment is matching so one thing i want to mention here if you want to remove the noise 
or ripples if you want to smoothen that sinusoidal wave instead of this 8.2 kilo ohm we can use one 10 kilo ohm pot between base and the ground then we can tune that one so that we will get the smoother sinusoidal wave instead of that 8.2 kilo ohm now i have used a 10 kilo ohm pot between base and the ground if I use this one and tune this one, then I will be getting much more smoother waveform compared to the 8.2 kilo ohm fixed value that we have used earlier to this one. Thank you.